So we are several centuries into a mindset that says what is measurable is real. And that has led us in many ways to become, you know, performance oriented, achievement focused and productivity obsessed. Because if we are not making something, then we are not actually meaningful contributors to society. And unfortunately, the collateral damage of this mindset includes um, the, you know, sort of waylaying of the soul, of the significance of spirituality and consciousness to our experience as human beings. And this, I think, is a major contributor to an oppression and suppression of major participants in our global society um, that would otherwise be upheld as visionaries and artists and healers and guides and even shamans. Uh, we have, particularly in this country, determined that what these individuals have to contribute is to you know, ephemeral and chaotic and disordered and unproductive and their um, energetic imprint is really threatening uh, to, to the matrix, to the status quo. And I think without necessarily um, intentional design, we have um, corralled these individuals into the realm of psychiatry and we've told them that they are sick and that their struggle is actually evidence that something is fundamentally off and wrong with them. And my conclusion, having witnessed individuals um, and their process of liberation from psychiatric labels and medication and watching them go on to become these extraordinary light beings, you know, my only conclusion is that until and if we can support the laying of claim to the gem that is beyond that struggle um, and behind that struggle, we may be very lost without the light of those you know, individuals. And that's where this concept of the dark night of the soul comes from, that there is, you know, a certain initiation or a trial that has to be, um, you know, endured and moved through in order to lay claim to that gem, you know, that the dragon is hiding, um, in order to properly own it. And that is often what medication taper can represent is that self-initiation to a deeper understanding of what it is that you possess, the power you possess, and how to work with it consciously. Um, and this is why I've sort of concluded that those who are most likely to be labeled and medicated psychiatrically are, you know, what I refer to as the canaries in the coal mine. They are exquisitely sensitive to what is off, whether it's our, you know, synthetic diets or toxicant exposures as we, you know, pollute and rape this planet, you know, whether it's our lifestyle factors like lack of sun exposure or movement or proper rest and stress patterns. Um, they are expressing a no to this, an intolerance to this. And instead, you know, of acknowledging that there's something very off about the way we are operating um, and, and living societally, we say, no, not, nothing's wrong here, nothing to see here. But in fact, something's wrong with you, right? And if we see them as canaries in the coal mine, then we will see that the ways in which their souls, bodies, mind, spirits are saying no, these are symptoms, right? The ways that they are saying no are something that we need to listen to. And maybe we start with, with empowering those sensitive individuals to listen to themselves because from that place of self-regard comes 
a boundary, you know, that is much more difficult to violate um, when it comes to a medical system that imposes itself on our most vulnerable.